It's been just over a year now since Resolution Games launched one of its biggest titles to date, Blaster. Over the course of 2021, the game saw constant updates, and now Resolution is upping the game's price from $9.99 to $19.99. CEO Tommy Palm tells us why. We, we launched it uh, a little bit more than a year ago, and, and it was quite bare bone at, at that point. It was just the, the dueling um, aspect of the game there. And since then, as you know, we added Uso Lounge and, and the opportunity for people to set up their own tournaments and, and a lot of uh, juicy things. So uh, we, we continue supporting the game and have a lot of uh, exciting updates coming. One of those updates will be a revamped weapon system for the game that adds attachments. But by how much will that change the Blast On experience? One of the, the, the strengths we feel the game always had is that it's, it's fairly easy to just pick up. Uh, so that's something that we're going to really stick to. Uh, but at the same time, we want um, something that you can specialize in and, and feel like this is your loadout and, and these are the things that you want to become really good at and, and, and emphasize. Another recent update for Blast On made it one of the first games to support pass-through play on Quest, but it's early implementation in black and white, whereas Meta's upcoming Project Cambria promises to add color pass-through. Is Resolution planning to implement Cambria's high-end features into its games? I hope so. In general, like it's very exciting to get new hardware, and, and there is, uh, you know, a large part of the VR market is very um, visionary about what VR is going to lead to, and, and I think many people who who owned the, the Quest One now owns the Quest Two, and and. Uh, a significant part of them will also own any next uh, generation that comes out. So it would definitely be very interesting to to uh, look more on that. Is it a case that, you know, obviously you guys have a lot of experience in AR development as well. Are those kind of two sides of the company maybe starting to merge together a bit more as Quest becomes more and more of a mixed reality headset with more and more of those capabilities? Well, I, it's actually kind of been the opposite side where, where we, we, when we founded the company, we said AR is going to be uh, very exciting. It's further down the line. Uh, a lot of the technology uh, is shared between VR and AR. Um, so from the beginning, we were kind of the same team. Uh, but lately, we have spawned off the, the, the AR division to allow them to focus more uh, solely on AR and become experts in that field. Uh, it isn't very easy to cut it. Obviously, the Blaston team has been doing the, uh, the pass through AR work with with this, and, and um, hopefully, we'll have opportunity to experiment even more with Blaston and, and AR. Uh, and it would be very logical that it would be the Blaston team who did that. Um, but I also think it's important, like if you look at the use cases of VR and AR, they are many times quite different now. So there's other type of games that could be fantastic for AR that wouldn't work in, in VR. Outside of Cambria, we also know that PSVR 2 is on the way. What's Resolution's take on the new headset? A lot of people got very excited about it. Um, there's always a lot of op different opinions, of course, but but from from our perspective, it's great. It opens up a, a, a new player base. Mm. Um, PlayStation has always been great at um, getting to a certain type of gamer that has uh, um, you know, like spending money on great games. So I think that will be a, a great addition to the ecosystem of VR. You guys have only. I think only had one PSVR game to date. Do you think you'll probably end up offering more support to PSVR 2 in the future? Absolutely. Um, that's something I, I uh, hope to see, even though I, I, I'm not <laughs> officially <laughs> announcing that at this point. But but uh, I think we wanted to do more uh, for PlayStation VR. Just we have been incredibly busy uh, and. Uh, it felt like the, the controllers uh, they, they had on the, the PlayStation 4 was a little bit too uh, different for it to be a really good fit to mm -hmm. several of our titles. Uh, so we, we have Angry Birds there and that went well, uh, but uh, we like to support them more now when they're 
putting more uh, new newer power into this. So that's what's new for Blast On, but that's only one part of what's happening at Resolution Games. What's Palm looking forward to most for the studio and the industry in 2022? Uh, as, as we have uh, had a lot of success with Demio, and, and we were big believers in that, that's something that we're continuing to. Uh, you saw that we announced the roadmap of Demio, so a lot of work is going into that, and that's something that I personally uh, put a lot of time in. Um, I think that there is so much untapped potential there. Mm. So, so that's uh, one of the, but I also think it's, it's going to be a very, very exciting year for um, AR, um, like very early stuff in, in AR, of course, which isn't the final, the Quest 2 moment of AR mm. is not gonna happen in 2022, but, but definitely see the first consumer products, which is always very exciting for us tech geeks, at least, you know, it's, um, and from from a game developer point of view, it's great because you can start developing and and fan sites about titles that will work really well in a couple of years. We'll keep you updated with the latest on Blast On and Resolution Games. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video, hit the notifications button, and we'll see you soon for more VR content.